This is one that I did not see coming. I had no idea that they were already refreshing the Hyundai Sonata. This is the 2015 edition. From the outside, it don't look too much different than the old generation. So maybe it's just a slight refresh, a quick update. Let's look at it from the side in that sexy black. So here I am inside. Right away, I gotta say, compared to that 2014 model that I shot a while back, it feels more compact. There's like less room. It feels like there's less leg room in the front. And from the looks of it, they cut out some leg room in the back. And that's a shame. So what's different? What's new? A slightly updated center console that looks like a bunch of geometric shapes. I guess it's kind of angled towards you. It's, it's much more similar to the Kia Optima now. Controls on the wheel. Cruise volume. And the beautiful bottom gap that I love to grip when I drive down here you got your connections for iPod phone charger everything refresh center console armrest area whatever this is a base trim soft touch material up top with Plastic mixed in, but it's not that cheap hollow plastic. It's got like a little textured feel to it. Power windows, power locks all on the door here. And it's getting hot, so let me turn on and cut some AC on. This is how your dash looks. Button controls. Nice large glove compartment. Lighting controls up top. So let's get in the back seat and see what we're working with. Oh, huh, well, it's still roomy back here. You know what? It's real roomy. Look at that. Look at all that space I got. Tons of space for my legs. And a high roof. So you don't have to worry about your head hitting that. So yeah. It was deceptive. It's, it's even roomier in the back. Um, I think I was just judging it by this passenger seat. And it's, as you can see, it's laid back pretty far like somebody was taking a nap. Cutting out some leg room. But when it's set up at a standard way, I can I can lounge back here. Look at that. I can stretch my legs. That's what it's all about. Let's get a look at that. This is the updated Hyundai interior. From the head zone view. So it's a little different, but not drastically different. I didn't think they would refresh it for maybe another year or two. Look at Hyundai trying to keep ahead of the game. Let's take a look at the trunk and see how much space is back there. Because the trunk really concerned me. The trunk is a lot shorter than last generation. So let's see how they worked it out. One thing that's still disappointing about the Sonata is you don't get the, the trunk that kind of glides up. It just pops and then you have to lift it. And they kept it that way. Whoa. Okay. Don't judge a book by its cover. I feel like I could lay down back here. How did they cram all that room into a car that looks smaller from the outside? That is a huge trunk. Nice job, Hyundai. I'm impressed. All that's left to do now is uh, put it in drive, 
and see how it feels on the road. Oh, gotta be safe. Seatbelt people. Buckle up. There we go. Right off the bat, the acceleration feels smoother and peppier than the previous generation. It rides a lot smoother. I drove a lot of the older Hyundai Sonata, Sonatas, so I'm used to how they feel. You get a nice little roar from the engine that makes you feel like you're driving something sporty. And I don't know if y'all noticed or not, but the trunk did have a um, spoiler on the back. But you're not gonna dust anybody on the highway. You'll get up to 60 in a decent speed though. In day to day driving. What kind of engine is this? I know Hyundai usually doesn't use V6s. They have some kind of special hybrid engine that they that I read about. Where they did something with the four cylinder but made it feel like a six. Maybe that's what's going on here. A few more controls on the side, but nothing that's any different. Illumination, trunk, gas. That's where you open that up at. Digital speedometer. You know, when I first got into it I wasn't too overwhelmed or impressed but now that I'm driving it and I really looked at the space it's nice it's still nice the Hyundai Sonata I would still say check it out definitely um they made it look shorter on the outside but you still got a ton of leg room and a ton of trunk room a nice ride a decent engine and this is only a base trim so, I don't know how I feel about that new center console. It, it looks uh, a little too, too much like a geometry class to me, like a hexagon or a pentagon shape. But don't hold that against it, you know, give it a try. I'm not familiar with the gas mileage on this one, but if it's anything like the previous generation, you're probably looking at maybe 30 something on the highway 35 36 on the highway so yeah this is the 2015 hyundai sonata i had no idea it was coming but if you're a fan of hyundai's and the sonatas definitely take a look at it i would give this based on this quick initial impression uh 3.8 out of 5. I still think Hyundai is cutting corners on some of the interior materials and it could look a little nicer but it's a good vehicle I'll give it a 3.8 average car review guy quick review signing out Hyundai I'm still rocking with y'all keep it up